Hello, this is Bern, and on today's video, I'm going to share with you seven reasons why quality men are not choosing you despite your great looks, your intelligence, and your achievements. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, space where I share how you can attract the man you want and enter into the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or stupid techniques. And <laughs> now today, I want to go deep into why, despite being smart, being high achieving, uh, being beautiful, guys are not choosing you. The kind of guy you want is not choosing you. And before I start with the seven things, I want to let you know that if you want to go deeper after this video is ended and step into the embodiment of the transformation you're seeking beyond the intellectual understanding of this stuff, first link in the description of this video will get you to a new training that I developed for you that is absolutely free and can help you take it to the next level. Now, first reason why you're not getting what you want, you're not being pursued by the type of man you want, is because you're confusing high chemistry with greatness. Here's what I mean. So many of you, because I get the emails, I get the messages, and I also have conversations, are going for the shiniest of objects. And the moment you don't encounter that shiny object, you subconsciously feel like the chemistry is not there. So if you think that when you connect with a guy, the oceans should part, and the angels should sing, and Simon Cowell should hit the little golden buster, and you should see golden things flowing around you, and if it's not that, then it can't be great, then you might be letting so many men pass you by. Am I asking you to connect with guys that have no chemistry with you? Absolutely not. I think greatness includes chemistry, but it's not the only thing. And chemistry can grow through time and can find the sustainability, the friendship, the love, the attraction that you're seeking, even if it's not an instant rush. Now, if you're wasting a lot of time pursuing that shiny object, then there's guys that you're not connecting with who could end up being your husband and the father of your children, if that's what you're seeking. You're not giving them the time of day. Number two, sometimes your lack of confidence is getting the best of you. So what do I mean by that? Well, sometimes you feel like there's something missing. Sometimes you, you have confidence in certain areas of your life, but you feel like there's something missing in you as a woman. Maybe it's your body. Maybe it's something that you went through that's in some way in your mind shameful. So you're not exp you feel like you have to overcompensate by giving too much. So when you are not stepping into your confidence, then you have to compensate by maybe not asking the right questions. In uh, maybe this respect from guys or not strong enough pursuit because you feel like there's something lacking so why would they really want you maybe you, you have this internal fraud syndrome where you feel like if if he ever were to find out this about me or if he ever really got a chance to know me deeply he'd get bored he wouldn't think I'm so great so that subconsciously makes you interact differently with men makes you lower your standards makes you take for lack of a better term crap from guys and when guys show up and start having that dynamic with you, you get discouraged. And instead of opening your heart to quality men, you close your heart because you expect something painful or disrespectful to happen. So lack of confidence is the second reason. Third reason, you're not opening your heart enough to activate pursuit. What does that mean? That means that you're going out into the world with a fear of disappointment, the fear of rejection, or the fear of betrayal in such a strong way that when you happen to cross paths with a quality man who might be interested in pursuing you should you show more openness, he doesn't feel it. He feels your fear or he feels your lack of interest or even your rejection. If not, that's the last thing you want to do. The lack of interest based on fear makes him feel like you're not really open to him. So there's nothing visceral in him that makes him want to go the distance with you, even though you have greatness and you have beauty inside. Number four, maybe you're playing games instead of basing your life on principles. What do I mean by that? Sometimes, I'll get it. I mean, it's, things are confusing. Some people say, wait to have sex. Some people say, do it whenever you want. There's so much confusing information out there that through this overwhelm of extra information, instead of saying, hey, you know what? Here are the principles I'm going to live by of respect, of waiting until exclusivity, for example, for sex, you have a rule and the rule is maybe he calls me, I wait three hours to respond. Or maybe I can't hold his hand until the X number of date. Or something that is not based 
on a principle that is just based on a caricature of what should be taking place. And the guy, if he's an intelligent guy, he's gonna feel like you're playing games. And because you don't fully understand why you're doing it, you just think this will get you the result that you want, you don't have the clarity to express to him something that would make sense and allow you to wait a little longer, you're just playing a game. You're uh, buying the texting, uh, or texting the right thing. When th that's not what's gonna get you what you want. Understanding what are valuable principles to embody uh, in respect, in sex, in communication, in friendship, that will get you more of what you want. Playing games and following certain rules that don't make sense to you, but you still do them, that's gonna get you less of what you want. Number five. I have to say this because, again, so many women who reach out for help let me know that they're not, connect, I mean, they're not connecting with quality men and from their perspective, there's no quality men out there. And when I ask them, what are you doing to connect with men? Well, they're mainly they're either doing nothing or just doing online dating in a way that's not even gonna get them the result they want, but they're not getting uncomfortable enough to expand their circle of connections to be in positions where they can connect with more quality men. So. If you are falling for this mistake, which is you're not connecting with the guys you want, but your lifestyle isn't changing, you're not making an effort to create connections outside of your circle, you're going to work and connecting with your girlfriends and doing what you've been doing, you'll get more of the same. So there has to be a change in lifestyle if you want to create the connections you want at a faster space. Number six, <laughs> you're being needy instead of abundant. So what happens when you don't get what you want for a long period of time? And you finally connect to a guy that you deem is a quality guy. Maybe there's chemistry, but you see more qualities beyond chemistry and you're connecting with them. Now, if your mindset is one of lack, where your brain subconsciously is saying, hey, here's the one guy I've connected with in the last eight months that's great quality, then you wanna latch on to him and instead of giving him the space he needs to be interested in pursuing you, you start pushing a little harder, you start showing up needy, you start feeling weird when he doesn't call you, you start being passive aggressive when you don't get the response you want in the time that you want. So when a guy understands that you have options and that you're relaxed and if he wants to step up, great, if he doesn't want to step up, your life will still be great, he's gonna be so much more likely to step up than if he feels that he's the one who has to solve the problem of your life. And that's gonna be a challenge for you on two fronts. Number one, no one can do that for you. Number two, it doesn't put you in a high value position to be pursued. Number seven, you're getting this courage before it's time. So what do I mean by this? What I mean by this is that sometimes you've been dating for a while, not gotten what you want, and you develop this belief that says, because I haven't gotten what I want, life will continue being the same way. So here's what happens when you develop that shitty belief. You put less of yourself out there, you expect, to not have great results, the energy, the enthusiasm, and the level and quality of actions you take are gonna be significantly lower than if you believe in your heart and soul that you not just deserve to get an amazing relationship, but you're doing, willing to do whatever it takes in a way that's yours and feminine. So when you get discouraged before it's time, you put less of yourself out there, and then what happens when you put less of yourself out there? You get worse results. When you get worse results, you feel even less confident about yourself, you put even less of yourself out there, so you get in a downward spiral that won't get you what you want. The way to break through the cycle is understand that at any moment in your day, in your month, in your year, in your life, you can make a new decision. And the new decision is that the past won't equal the future and that if you learn new ways of being and expressing yourself, you can create a significantly better result today than you have over the last few years of your life. Uh, if you find this is helpful, my dear, if you think this is something that makes sense to you, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. I want you to go to the first link on the description of this video and sign up for the training that I created for you to show you how to take the understanding that I shared with you right now to the absolute next level so you can embody the change that we're talking about and not just get it intellectually. If you like this video, please, uh, please click like or a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Uh, if you wanna get more content, like this, then also subscribe to my channel so you can get more episodes as they come out. Last but not least, if you want my help and then holding through this process, the second link on the description of this video will allow you to connect with me and find out if we can work together so you can get what you want in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Yeah.